Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Tachlis. What's Let's Talk Tachlis? Let's figure it out. Hi, my name is Aaron B. I'll give myself a quick plug, only once. I'm a certified life coach and a businessman. And throughout my career and life, I found something very fascinating. I see often people who are considered common people, standard people, not in any way people with a position, with a stage, with a platform. And throughout the conversations with them, I find them being so brilliant, so smart, so powerful. People tell me such amazing ideas about education, about relationships, about business, about concepts, about how to change so many parts of the world, especially the Jewish world. And I was always wondering why and how don't these people have a chance and opportunity to share their ideas with the big world? So let's organize it a little. Throughout our life, Baruch Hashem, we are privileged to hear and see so many speakers, so many rabbis, so many doctors, so many educators. We get so inspired from them. We love what they say. I myself watch many of these presentations and I find them so teaching, so fascinating making such a big impact on my life and I'm sure on the lives of the many people who watch and see it. But the common people, the so-called common people, never get a chance to, to say what they have to say. I want to share a quick story with you to explain you somewhat what I mean. I was once trusted by a set of parents to take their child to a test in an upcoming yeshiva for, in order to enter the yeshiva. And I, I had to wait outside and the person in charge of this took in the boy, he was 16, and sat with him for an hour. And I was waiting outside going crazy. What can take an hour? When the boy came out, he sat into my car, he started crying very, very seriously, very strongly. And when I asked him after a few minutes, why are you crying? He told me, that this interview was a torture experience. He said besides the fact that he only spoke to me about learning and about the tachlis as we call it for a short while, he asked me a million different questions that had nothing to do with my being in yeshiva. He spoke about my family, about our family status, the income, my siblings and this and that. And the boy felt very, very, very choked up and, and almost bruised by the interview. And he told me, I'll never ever go to this issue. And I told him, fine, no problem, no pressure. I'm, I'm sorry, you got here, you landed here. Don't worry about it, I calmed him down, fine. After a while, when I drove him back home, he tells me, you know something? When I will open a yeshiva, I will do things just the other way around. I will tell the boy to sit in my chair. I will be the Rosh Yeshiva. I will have this nice furniture piece. I will tell the boy to sit in my chair. I will sit across from him and I will ask the future boy being interviewed. What do you suggest? How should we make the first Seder? How should we organize the davening? How should we pair our boys for Havrusas? How do you think we can attract you and your friends to be more listening, to be more in, etc.? Now, this may, may not be the most practical, doable thing. The thought that a 16-year-old boy has an idea of how to supposedly create an environment of which the information and the plan can come from within. Not being told, of course, every Rosh Hashim and every Mechanech is 
focusing and planning for months and sweat and tears how to make the shiva the best place and it's probably not a doable thing entirely but the idea that the 16 year old has to tell us listen to us consult with us let's make a plan let's adjust it as time goes by if you're happy with us we'll be happy with you the world will be a beautiful place this is just a concept to try to share with you my dear audience that so much knowledge and information and brilliance is parked in the brains of simple people who never get a chance to get a microphone or to write an article in a newspaper and just make the world a better and happier place. So therefore I decided to open this podcast, Let's Talk Tachlis. Tachlis, as you know, is a very deep-rooted Jewish word that includes really everything, which means let's get to the point. Let's talk, let's talk about the real thing, the real way. And I invite you to please join me by watching the show and more than that, by contributing to the show. Please give me ideas of people you think, simple people, high level people, that made a difference, that can make a difference, that struggled through a certain difficulty in life and they came out winning with flying colors. And I believe that we, the standard common people watching this, will get so inspired and so delighted that it will make a difference in the world. So as I told you, I'm just the mailman, I'm the facilitator. It's not about me, it's about you, the audience. Please feel free, feel comfortable to any time Contact us at letstalktachlesnow.com. Share some ideas, share some names. Tell us what you would like to see talked about, people you suggest we should interview. And let's make it a very, very successful endeavor to serve Klali's role, to make Hashem more proud with his nation, and to have a good time. Thank you.